Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. Today we have a very nice party starter which we are going to show you how to do. Very simple to make but it takes a little time for the preparation. But once you've done it, you'll see your guests gobbling them down. So you'll have to make lots of them. It's called zucchini rolls. So what we need are these thin strips of zucchini which you cut with a nice cutter which is available in the market. All we have to do is slice off. So our zucchini strips are now ready. Only thing is that you have to keep them moist. So if you're going to cut your zucchini in the morning and make them in the afternoon, wrap them in foil or cling film or in a wet cloth and keep them. For the filling, we have paneer. To this, I'm going to add a little salt. Some Tabasco sauce. As much as you like. And some pepper. Now, to this filling, you can also add crushed peanuts, you can also add chopped dills. So the choice is yours. I'm going to mix it well. And if you do want to make it richer, then you can add grated cheese to this. So now our stuffing mixture is ready. I'm going to take a strip of zucchini. I'm going to place a little bit of this mixture. Gently roll it tight. And seal it with a toothpick. Put a good amount of filling because if you make it less filling, the taste doesn't come and it doesn't look full body. So. Pat the edges. Now we are going to cling film them and keep them in the refrigerator for at least an hour. So once they are cool and a little firm, we are going to remove this single toothpick. Take a sharp knife and cut in the center. And secure again with a toothpick. Now the choice is yours, you may keep them long if you want or you can keep them short, so it depends on how you want to serve them. And now for the garnish, we have a little bit of chilli sauce with us, so a dot on each and a little bit of black sesame seeds sprinkled over. So now that our zucchini rolls are ready, I'm going to show you how to use these zucchini strips in another easy way. So we have our strips here with us. And we have these kebab sticks. Take one end, take an olive, whole olive, thread the zucchini again, and we'll take a nice piece of cube cheese, thread our zucchini again, and then a cherry tomato. And we have this lovely looking zigzaggy zucchini stick ready for our cocktails. And then just to garnish them, take some red or green pesto sauce readily available in the market and just sprinkle a little bit on them. I hope you enjoyed watching this dish as much as I enjoyed making them and hope you will make them soon. And also don't forget to subscribe to Rajshree Food. See you soon and goodbye.